So overall, this roof uh, doesn't look like it's in too terrible condition. Does need some minor work and some minor repair, but you're not looking at a full roof replacement. If I had to guess, this is probably around fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars worth of work on just this find on this property. All right, let's go see what else I'm going to find. All right, so if you do have a roof and you do have buildup and you have trees overhanging. You always want to make sure that you clean this off because this, no matter how tight your roof is, this creates backflow and water makes it underneath uh, the shingles. I mean, these shingles are in pretty good shape. This roof just needs to be maintenanced a little bit. All right, let's uh, walk through some of the things I saw on this roof, just showing you that this roof isn't bad and uh, see what other items I find on this house. All right, let's go check it out. Okay. Uh obvious first find is that we have all this debris built up on the roof and you can see it's been happening a while so you have some foliage we actually have some mold on the ceiling directly below this so we know that what this is causing an active water leak next item is actually the flashing doesn't look in terrible shape it's just a little bit older we just want to repaint our flashing and re all our uh, fasteners just to prevent any future water le water leaks if you don't know what raccoon feces looks like, that is it. So raccoons have been on this roof. Next area where we have water penetration all the time are these lead jacks. Uh, lead jacks, you just want to make sure that they're sealed on the fastener side. And then squ squirrels and raccoons like to chew on the top of these. And they don't look like they've done too much crazy damage. A way to prevent that is actually a bead of caulking right here. They don't like that flavor I guess but it's a good preventative me measure so just repaint and reseal the fasteners one area of concern I hope it shows up in the video as you can kind of see uh, there's a, some pitting right here we need to make sure we get in the attic and see if this is okay the next item that sticks out is the chimney cap you can see it's starting to rust we actually just want to repaint this if you don't want to replace it that is a good preventative but it's getting close to the point where it needs to be replaced so these are actually pretty cheap and then also you want to remove the buildup of debris around the flashing this will eventually cause a rat uh, a water leak and you can actually see the raccoons making it over there too as well okay over here just doing a general scan you can see it's all it's actually in pretty good condition so it's not looking like a roof replacement but we're looking more for a roof maintenance roof plan we this roof has been poorly maintained Oh, here you go. You can see where the raccoon made it over here, right here. And then also just another flashing. You just want to redo our, our caulking bead right here. And then also reseal the fasteners and repaint the, the flue. So just another general scan. Oh, you can actually start to see some pitting right there. So my guess is that the actual decking has become deteriorating. So we actually probably need a repair right there. But we're going to get in the attic and verify that. Okay, walking up on this one, this is a pretty easy find. As you can see right here, the garage door is fallen and it's broken loose. And we know there, there's probably damage in the garage door opener. This is just a, just an upfront scan. So if you see this, you're probably looking about $1,100 range to replace a garage door opener or a garage door. The next find is actually kind of unique to this pergola here. It's not exactly attached to the property, but it can eventually lead to the property is we have carpenter bees inside this area we have about 10 holes carpenter bees they create this perfect round hole and then they have frass and they create frass just like this and sometimes it's even messier it looks like splotches like it's just where they knock out and they clean this they poop outside of it and they also uh take all the the external wood and they just drop it outside so they create this mess here an average cost for an exterminator to come out here start his truck and start treating is around four hundred dollars and carpenter bees are kind of a nuisance pest they keep coming back and they're harder to remove so they actually set up traps for them too as well okay one of the last items that we're going to talk about is the grading around the structure as you can see right here you can see that the grading isn't built to current standards current standards is six inches over 10 feet or a one percent grade and you can see areas where water might stand uh, around the structure uh, we're going to call it out and let you know about it but it doesn't mean that you really have to do anything you kind of bring into real world perspective this home has been here for 47 years and it really hasn't taken on much water and there hasn't been much settlement issues or foundation movement due to the grading issues so it's actually performing today but as a home inspector i'm still gonna have to call it out and let you know all right 
let's go talk about the last item on this structure. Okay, the last items on the inside of the property. Uh, we do have all copper wiring, which is great for a 1972, 73 property. That is like the prime years where I see aluminum. So that's a good sign. But what they did is they came in and changed all the outlets and they weren't really 100% set up. And then we had some open-ended wires in the house. So you're looking at an electrician trip to come in and tighten all these things up. As a home inspector, I'm going to recommend for a licensed electrician, you might work out a deal with the seller, but it is something that coming in, you want your electricity to be spot on. You don't want any problems. So we're going to ha recommend for an electrician and just by them starting their truck and coming out here, it starts at a bare minimum around $200 or 250 just for them to show up, not including the parts. You have to pay for their labor, insurance, gas for them to start working on the property. So, all right. So those are some good finds uh, on this property. It added up to a little pretty penny that they can either negotiate on or go in knowing that they are going to have to accept this price or have a project down the line. Something along the lines of that, <laughs> all right? So that's Christmas Day Action. If you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button and that little bell and you can catch the next one. All right, see ya. Check, Let's go check it out. No, I had a great ending. All right, bye guys.